A small portion of the pancreas secretes hormones as part of the endocrine system. Pancreatic islets, or the islets of Langerhans, are the endocrine clusters found among the exocrine cells of the pancreas. Here, alpha cells produce glucagon and beta cells secrete insulin. Insulin lowers blood glucose levels and is released when glucose concentrations exceed normal. Glucagon raises blood glucose levels and is released when there is a deficit of glucose in the blood. Blood glucose levels need to be within a certain range in order for the body to function properly. Hypoglycemia describes blood glucose above normal, while hyperglycemia describes blood glucose below normal. Normal blood glucose levels are regulated through a process called negative feedback. This system maintains homeostasis in the body by utilizing the hormones insulin and glucagon. When levels fall below normal, glucagon is released into the blood and acts to raise and restore normal levels. When levels are too high, insulin is released and functionally lowers the blood glucose. Once homeostasis is achieved, the hormone is no longer secreted. Insulin affects its target cells in a variety of ways. The rate of glucose uptake is increased by the number of glucose transport proteins available in the plasma membrane. GLUT4 is responsible for insulin-regulated glucose transport into the muscle and adipose tissue. Facilitated diffusion is used by transport proteins to carry glucose along its concentration gradient into cells without using any ATP. The utilization of glucose is maximized along with ATP production. Through glycolysis, glucose is used to produce ATP, the molecule of energy. Glycogen formation is stimulated so that excess glucose is stored as glycogen in skeletal muscle and liver cells. Amino acid absorption and protein synthesis are also stimulated. Adipose tissue, or fat, absorbs fatty acids and stores them as triglycerides. Glucagon works by reducing glucose use in the body and releasing that glucose into the bloodstream. Glycogenolysis, the breakdown of glycogen to glucose, is stimulated in skeletal muscle and liver cells. The breakdown of triglycerides into fatty acids in adipose tissue is also stimulated. Gluconeogenesis, the production and release of glucose in the liver, is encouraged. Liver cells absorb amino acids, convert them to glucose, and then release them into the blood. Here is a summary of the negative feedback mechanism, with special attention to the effects the pancreatic hormones have on each target organ. This demonstration has displayed just how insulin and glucagon work in the body to maintain blood glucose levels.